The compensation should go to the community. Community should manage their own resources. We don't want even to accept monies being given to the county government. We want the monies to be given directly to the community, and that is a process. Awareness is created, community, committees are selected, and then payment should be done to the community themselves because they are the real owners. Politicians come and go. They stay for five years and other new ones come in, but the communities are there to stay. Therefore, they need to be in charge of their own resources. We want to emphasize community have done their part, NGOs have done their part, uh, indigenous communities have done their part. So the part that has remained is for other authorities to support because uh, these places are vast. It requires uh, a lot of resources uh, to do adjudication, to do uh, elections for the community. Uh, those are the spaces that we are asking uh, the concern authority, which is the government, uh, whether uh, county government or national government, to support us all. In the areas of Marti, uh, we have Chari and Cherab, which community have exhaustively said what they want to the community land to look like, the naming, uh, bylaws, membership recruitment, but still the process is slow. The challenges are many when you talk about issues on natural resources, around issues on owning land and managing, and coming from trust land, uh, or even counties where already they've moved from, you know, uh, group ranches to owning of land. There's still a gap when it's come to women owning and being part of those registers. And in trust land, where the government is still trying to or navigate on how to register their land. It's still uh, a challenge having in mind that these are patriarchal society, issues on culture and norms is a challenge. But we are still sending a very strong message that when it's come to participation, we need to occupy. When it's come to inclusion, we want to be there. We don't want just people to talk on our behalf. We want to be on the same table where people are making decisions. Uh, the big chunk of land in the, these indigenous women, uh, occupying, occupied by these indigenous women, is a community land. And uh, the registration of the community land is ongoing. And uh, we are ensuring that the participation by women in the ownership of community land, sitting in the community land committee, management committee, is enhanced. And uh, you look at uh, the government development agenda, uh, the big state development agenda by the government, is now in the uh, uh, this community land areas. And when it comes to the compulsory land acquisition, we are also ensuring that uh, uh, we enhance participation by women in the compulsory land acquisition process, which uh, of course uh, calls for the ownership uh, documents and uh, which increase the right, land rights. And we, 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 including, we, we are encouraging women to be active uh, because of the uh, vocal nature of the work, uh, because first of all of confronting uh, traditional practices and also uh, the fact that they are never given the chance to own land. It means that by the advocating for those kind of rights, then themselves become uh, part of the risks, they face a lot of risks. So as a national organization, we are committed to ensure that uh, there is safety for all persons that speak uh, truth to power, to defend their rights uh, and to make sure that they do that when they are safe. Uh, and you know, the safety of women at the front line, it's both from their own uh, members of the community, particularly male uh, members who do not fight the value of women being at the forefront, but also from government agencies that feel that, especially matters of uh, acquisition of land uh, and territories, especially where there are minerals and other resources, we find that women are disproportionately affected.